Hello everyone, welcome to Grade 12 Physics AP, Mastering Newton's Law in Minutes. In this video, I am going to go through a brief introduction of this topic as well as the general problem solving formula for these problems. So, what is Newton's second law? Well, the definition for his second law is that the net force acting on an object is equal to the mass of that object multiplied by its acceleration. This leads to a very simple formula known as F equals M times A. Steps in solving these problems. Well, first of all, these are um, very similar to um, equilibrium problems that we have went through in previous uh, videos. So what to do is you first need to draw a uh, free body diagram and then label all the forces that are involved. Uh, and. Uh, make sure it is separated into vertical and horizontal components. Um, if it's a 3D problem, it might have something in the z-axis as well. So instead of um, adding the components together and equate to zero in an equilibrium problem, um, set it equate to ma or mass times acceleration because this is not an equilibrium problem after that then you solve the system of equations so let's go through a sample problem together a prototype car is being propelled by a booster system on a frictionless surface unfortunately the boosters were installed 45 degrees above the horizontal line, in which it should be zero degrees. However, given the circumstances, the core is 50 kilograms, and in this scenario, it still produces a steady acceleration of 120 meters per second square. What is the force produced by the booster system in this situation? So let's start off with um, creating the free body diagram. So uh, first of all, we would draw a block to represent the car of uh, 50 kilograms. We got the normal uh, force and then we got the gravitational force, which is mass times gravity. We also have a uh, force equate to um, booster and it has an X and Y component because it is um, directed at 45 degrees below the horizontal. That's where the booster um, is uh, propelling um, the, the, the car towards. So now let's uh, look at uh, how to solve this problem. Well, um, we only need to care about um, the horizontal direction because we know that um, the, uh, the acceleration equates to zero on the, on the vertical because it's not going accelerating up or down. Um, on the on the surface, right? So let's look at the x direction. Well, we can see that the the f booster x will equal to mass times acceleration in the x direction. So with the with the um, booster x, we got 50 kilograms times 120 meters per second square, which would equate to 6,000 newtons, and that's only at the X direction. So how do we find the um, the direction of the actual booster? Well, we would need to um, have it such that to find the hypotenuse of the of the 
of the vector because you only have the x component um, so if you remember trigonometry you would see that um, the hypotenuse times the cosine of the degrees which is 45 degrees in this in this uh, problem would equate to the x component or the adjacent part of a triangle in tricks so if we divide the x component of our booster force which is 6000 by cosine 45 degrees we would have our answer the force of the booster which is 8487 newtons and uh, thank you for um, listening to our video um, this concludes uh, the lecture if you are interested in more studying materials um, please download our physics app and other AP uh, course study apps um, this can be found uh, in the links in our um, video description through YouTube. Uh, also, um, if you want to uh, keep up to date with our latest um, videos for studying purposes, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, please share our videos uh, via Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.